everybody, how are you? It's Hannah from the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and welcome, crafty friends. So this is my first live since before Christmas, and oh my gosh, so I hope all of you had an amazing Christmas. Ours was really good. Um, the boys are all home, took a little time to spend with them, and then this week has been a little bit crazy and hectic because Miss Phoebe, my 110-pound St. Bernard, she had some surgery. So we are sporting the cone of shame right now, um, and it's been quite the challenge. I always say with Phoebe, it's a good thing she's pretty because she is not the smartest dog in the world. Um, she is the sweetest dog, the gentlest dog, but not the smartest. And the cone has totally got her stumped. I mean, she can't get through places. And so instead of trying to figure out how to get through, she just stays stuck. And, you know, so she's just got her head kind of against the wall. So it's been, um, it's been a challenge for sleeping downstairs because um, my bedroom and Phoebe's bedroom is upstairs on the main level. She can't do steps. So she cries at night to go to bed. We're sleeping in the living room and it's been it's been a challenge it's it's like having a baby so um that's kind of been my week so i took um monday is my normal day off and then um tuesday wednesday to to be with phoebe so uh, but it was just kind of nice to be at home with the kids too they were in and out doing doing their thing like kids do but anyway while all that was going on with me um we were still getting great packages here at the store and so i have um three orders to show you today. Two of them are from the warehouse, so they're just some new stuff, some reorders, and then I also got in um, Spellbinders as well too, so I got a good, good Spellbinders order for you. So I'm going to flip the camera around. We're going to check stuff out. Um, lots of great things still, you know, popping in. Um, I know we've got an Echo Park order we just got done receiving, so I'll get that shown to you guys as well. And what else is up there? Oh, Hero Arts. I got a Hero Arts order for you guys, too. So that's super exciting. So all kinds of good stuff coming in. So if you got a gift card for Christmas, you may find some goodies in this live that you want to use it for. So, all right, here we go. All right. So let's start out with our first warehouse order that we got. And we're going to start out with organization. So these fab file boxes have been a huge success. These are the eight by eight ones, and they do have um, little um, dividers in there as well. So we've got two of those that just came in. Price on those is $8.39. These are the little dividers that go inside the slimline boxes, and I just showed you one of those, I think in the live right before Christmas. So this is gonna be great for your slimline dies your slimline stamps. Hi, Journey, when am I gonna be getting more diamond dots in? Well, I, there's nothing in this order. The section was full right before Christmas, so it just takes a little bit, well, one, for me to get some money caught up to order diamond dots, and then also for those, those orders to come in. I think we have one or two that are in an order supposed to come, but that won't fill up the section, I know, but we'll get more in, you know we always do, but I don't have an exact date for you. All right, so these go into the tabbed uh, or to the slimline boxes. Like I said, we just got those in the other day as well. And this is going to be great for your slimline size dies and your stamps as well. That way you can store all those together. There are little tabs on the top of those. So if you like the label, you can label those as well. And you get five of them in a pack for $5.39. So as far as slimline storage goes, that's a really good deal on those. Another one by Totally Tiffany. This is the 6x6 six six paper taker. So I just showed you the file is a little different. Um, it is hard cased. It's got a little um, handle on the top, but it is hard. It's just harder plastic. And then it's got the little uh, dividers in there as well. And then this one here is just kind of completely open. So you've got your storage case and then kind of the inner tray that helps it hold its shape. And that is $13.39. This one here is a larger 12 by 12 paper holder from Totally Tiffany. We got in one of the striped bags from Doodlebug Designs. 
I love these totes. Um, we've had them in Daisy and Polka Dot, and now we've got the Stripe. Oh, you've been working on your Rooster Diamond. See, you're not even ready for a new one yet, Chica. You just got that one. So, but that's awesome. I hope you love your Rooster Diamond Dots. So we got that in, and then Irene Buddy Bags. So Irene is great for inks, but you can put other stuff in there as well. But you can see they've got the Distressed Inks here. They've got bigger, looks like a Close to My Heart ink in there too um but here they've got smaller inks in there they've got washi tape in there it says good for embossing folders as well card blanks will fit in here too you can see all the embossing folders in this one so so many things that you can store in irene i see there's a picture of irene on the back here with maybe some different um just says Glue pads, glue dots, pop dots, and embossing folders. Then we got in Deborah. Deborah is great for pens, pencils, and markers. So you can kind of see it's got good height on it. So they've got colored pencils in here, and they've also got sketch ones, and it looks like those might be some of the older Zig ones that are a little bit longer there. So that is organizational. Then we got in, this is a reorder. So we've got this line, this entire line, Vintage Artistry Countryside. And we actually have a class coming up on January 3rd, a mini book class with 49 in market using this line, but this is the six by six or six by eight pad. This is the very popular Wonderland line from Memory Place. And these are the die cuts that match the line. I know we've got the paper kits over there as well. This one here is by far our best-selling birthday stamp, I think, in the history of all the birthday stamps we've gotten in. Um, it is a great deal. You can see this whole stamp set here is 10 bucks. So that's a lot of stamps for a lot of bang for your buck on that one. And things that it's going to say, so these are really great for the insides. Extra special wishes are being sent to you today to help make your birthday amazing in every way. And then you can see the happy birthday is separate. Your birthday is a special day. It's going to be great. This card was handmade just for you to help you celebrate. And then this have an awesome day is separate. And you've got a little very best wishes on your birthday and wishing you a very happy birthday. So lots of stamps in this set for the $10 price tag. And like I said, we, we do really well with that one. That one um, sells out almost every single time in the live just because it's good. Winter is not over yet, friends. Um, I know here in Indiana, Mother Nature tried to kill us last week, and now she's acting all cute and springy. I saw that meme. I just, I loved it. Uh, but yeah, so it's definitely, you know, all the snow is totally gone in my driveway, but winter will be back. Um, and winter lasts a while. I know Christmas is over, but like I leave my snowmen out forever. If you've got friends that have January, February birthdays, those are definitely winter month birthdays. So still, you know, be working on that, all that winter stuff, your winter cards. And so we've got in a really cute little snowflake, snowflake punch. You want a birthday stamp set? You got it, Miss Monica. I'm putting it in my already taken pile. Thank you, ma'am. And then these are some of those little 3D punch outs that are so super popular. Now, I know this has a pumpkin on it, so we kind of think fall for pumpkins, but it's a white pumpkin and it's got these beautiful flowers. So it's, and this one's got little succulents hanging out of it. And then this one looks more just like little gourds. And I saw it and I loved this one. And then I actually had somebody come in and they were wanting to special order some. She saw this one too, and she's like, oh, I need that right now. So I was just like, well, if I loved it now and she loved it now, we are definitely getting this one in. So this is gonna be your main image you're gonna make. There's the main image you're gonna make. And then finally, here's the other main image you're gonna make. And what these do is they just layer one right on top of the other. So this one here has four layers. And I like to use these inner pop dots on these. It makes them, you know, I think it actually adds to the dimension on them because they're really close together layers. But you can use any time size foam dots, foam tape that you want. I just like the thinner on these myself. So we got this one here and it's called Purple Passion. And then this one here is called Winter Garden. So here's your main one. And then it's one, 
to three layers. Here's your second main one. And then it's one, two, three layers on top of that. So four layers total. And then here's the main image. And then all those little flowers layer on top. Um, so those are your 3D punch out winter garden and purple passion. We sold through so much of our edible cookie dough over the holidays. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it, these are fun. So I even had people coming in and asking about gifts for younger crafters. Um, and we would talk a little bit about the younger crafter and, you know, what they like to do and things like that. This one is a very good project for, well, any age, because we all like to eat, but for a younger crafter or some, a, a child that likes to help cook, help, likes to be in the kitchen with you, because all this takes is a, a little bit of cream cheese softened, a little bit of butter softened, and two tablespoons of water. And then they just mix, mix, mix. And then once it kind of gets mixed a little bit, um, you get your hands in there, kind of mush it together, and then do little balls. That is it. And then you can chill it for a while if you want it a little bit firmer. But these are super, super tasty. Um, it says, let's see here, you can freeze them for up to 60 days or refrigerate for up to one week. Um, I think I had mine in the refrigerator for longer than a week, and they still tasted great. Um, I hid them here at the store actually because I couldn't even hide them at my house but I hid them here at the store um, and they were here for more than a week um, and they did fine because your cream cheese is going to last for more than a week as well too. So we, we got back in the cookies and cream. This was a flavor um, we had this one we sampled in the store one night and then the brownie batter was the one that sold out the quickest and I had one girl come in and she said she made this for the work Thanksgiving carry in and they told her to bring those back for the Christmas carry and they were that good and super super easy so we've got our edible cookie doughs back in these are some glitter markers that are going to be added to our marker section now listen you can hear these have a little shaker ball in them which means the intensity is going to be a lot more because of how it's not a felt pad in there it's a fluid um, ink in there, which always gives you a little more intense color than a marker that just has a you know piece of felt that absorbs the color. And plus, since these are glitter, that means that glitter is going to be much more intense whenever you use these because it's not clinging to something else in there. So these are Colorista glitter markers. Back in stock are our fine tip paint pens. I love these. Oh, that just got on the table twice. Let's see here, a little bit of glitter snow. So these are going to be perfect for your winter projects, your winter decor projects. And then also, do you think that you can have some surgery edible cookie dough? Um, sugar cookie. Well, I don't know if there's sugar cookie ones up there. There's a birthday one, Journey, and I bet that birthday one is going to taste like a sugar cookie because it just has sprinkles in it. So, yes, I think the, the birthday sprinkle one up there is going to taste like a sugar cookie. Good question. All right, so this will also be cute on your winter cards as well, too, to look like snow on them. This would also be really cool through some of your stencils. So like your um, snowflake stencils. Ooh, that would be really cool through those. Uh, puzzle, puzzle glues. So those of you like us, we do a Christmas puzzle. Our Christmas puzzle just got done yesterday. So if you need puzzle glue for your puzzle you put together at Christmas, we've got you covered on that. In our Harry Potter section, we were out of this value pack of stickers. So you get both sets of stickers. These are kind of the more the, what are they called? Chibis. The more the chibi look, a little bit more whimsical. And then these are the classic ones there. So Harry Potter stickers. We got just in some red, white, and blue stars. We have a re request for stars all year long for different things. And I usually try to keep in patriotic colors since we for sure want those patriotic for, um, 4th of July. We've got back in our envelope gatefold folio right here. This is the one that 
collected this mini book right here. This folds out. This folds this way. Got these here. I've shown these on a video before. Um, I know they are meant to go or are designed to go inside these a little more sturdier mini books, but you wouldn't have to. They are super cute all on their own. So you can do them just as a standalone item as well. And so that one there, and we've got all kinds. I mean, look at all the ones that we've got. They all have different configurations are so stinking cool. That one just happens to be this one here that we pulled at the time. And that is the gatefold, um, envelope gatefold flip folio. There we go. 12 by 12 Cricut Mac back in stock. We got some nice big four inch stencils in stock. We had somebody come in for a special order on those. So those, those are the extras that are added to the shelf. Baseball card or HTC card size, um, photo sleeves back in stock. Pioneer does this nice, huge, that is an, the, the biggest scrapbook that we can find. It's got an extra large D ring in it. So we just got that one back in in a lime green. Wine glasses, stickers by Jolie's. Oh, here's another tote. This is that, oh, this is that clear one. So this one is great because it's a nice big tote bag. It is 19 by 14. So it is nice and um, 19 wide, 14 high. So it's even gonna fit your scrapbooks in it. So this is really nice if you're, you know, on the go, going to uh, props or retreats, you know, doing some day scrapping, day crafting with your friends. But it's also a nice tote to have as well if you're doing like a concert or anything like that uh, because it is clear because you cannot get into any kind of concert or anything like that anymore with a regular bag it needs to be a clear one so that's a nice one just to have on hand for those of you my friends that have the personal so the smaller size planners we got back in um, your next year's worth of months. So this does not have the weeks, but it does have the months in there. And this is for the personal size one. Photo albums. This one's by Pioneer. It's black. It's going to hold your four by six photos. And there's even a little space in the margin for you to journal if you want to. And when it's full, it is going to, I thought it would say used to say how many it would hold holds 200 200 photos in that one uh chrysanthemum so the chrysanthemum set completely sold out so we got all the components back in so we've got back in the chrysanthemum um stamp die stencil and the matching washi tape and i'm going to do a quick little plug here so if you have been looking at these sets and haven't tried them yet, or if you just know you love them, we have a class coming up in February that Dolly LaBelle is going to be teaching, and she's going to be doing four cards, and the four different cards are going to be using all four components. So we'll for sure have one that's stamped, we'll have one that's stenciled, and we'll for, sh for sure have one that uses the washi tape. But there's going to be four different cards in that class, and she's using the Celebrate one. So that's the one with the balloon. So a really, really fun set. But if you try these and love them, or if you haven't tried, you're just not for sure what to do with these, either way, that's going to be a really fun class. And I know I just sent that out. And thank you, thank you. We've already got a few people signing up for that. And Dolly only takes eight people in a class. So if you're thinking about that one, make sure you get in that class ASAP. The colored pencils. They sold out, and those are back in. And when I say color pencils, I truly mean colored, like rainbow colored. Do you see the fun tips on those? These are going to write so, so cool. Really, really fun. And you get three of them for less than $5.50. Or sorry, four of them for less than $5.50. Acrylic blocks. Got those in. These are the nice ones because um, they're not flat on the sides. They're curved. So whenever you're stamping, it gives you little finger grips. So it's easier to hang on to them. And you've got a small and a medium block in here for $11.50. Another $49 in market. This is that Avesta line. I mean, we've talked about this one here because the pages are so pretty. So it's a beautiful 6x8 pad. 
okay? But this one, I think when I showed you guys how easy they are going to make card fronts. Let me just kind of fold this over. Look at that. That's a beautiful card front just right there as is. And the inside is plain. So you could literally fold this over if you wanted to, to make a four by six card. Now you could cut it down just a little bit and make your A2. Or if you wanted to keep it a true A6, you could cut this and um, glue that directly on your A6 card as well. Um, yes. So Monica, that pink fresh stamp is one that you wanted that went with, yes, it is. We already have one held for you. So you, good eye, my friend, but yes, that came in, um, today after we'd already sent your package. So I'm sorry. Uh, but yes, we already have one pulled for you in your pile. And so we will have that with your birthday stamp now too. Um, this one here, this one is a Sizzix, this is a reorder, and this is the Pine Branches 3D embossing folder, so it embosses real pretty along the edges there. Again, still going to be perfect for all your winter cards. This one here, I love this set. So this one here, you can use, you know, the different layers individually, or layer them all up, and it is so pretty. So that's the plaid die there the pin tip nouveau glue back in stock the large magnetic discs from basic gray back in stock so that is our two orders that were kind of from the distributor our reorders and some new stuff and then here is spellbinders so let's check out spellbinders so first up from spellbinders this is one of their um, nesting die sets this is the rectangles yep rectangles here the whole stack you're going to get 12 different dies in here, and it's going to give you, let's just pop one open here. Let's just do that. Okay, so if you want the dots or if you don't want the dots, you have the option here. So that is what makes these kind of cool. So here, this bigger one is going to cut the actual rectangle, okay? Let me get that kind of better in frame. Here we go. So this is going to cut the actual rectangle. This is going to just do the kind of the little pierced dots there. Now, you could do this one on your card, and that's going to give it a really fun texture look. You can add this. It's going to cut out the square and the dots right below that cut line, or you can just cut a plain rectangle so you can use these basically um, a couple different ways which is really fun because i know a lot of times um you know you'll have a set that you have to do the dots and maybe you don't want to always have the dots on there so this one gives you the option and then just use a little bit of that um craft tape the best ever craft tape that spellbinders does and then you can hold those two dies together and here is your smallest one which is perfect for little sentiments labels if you're more of a scrapbooker and a mini bookmaker tabs would be cute there too so there's that one same thing we got them in ovals now these are just going to be cutting dies no um, texture to them but these are the hearts this here is the floral re reflection sentiments I did some, okay, so I did some amazing samples, and for the love of me, I cannot find them. I did them at home. Actually, I did them when I was in Vegas, brought them home. I, I had them somewhere, and now they are completely gone. So I've got to dig them out and figure out where I put them. But on my sample cards, I used these, and people loved them and wanted them. So <laughs> we've got them in, but I have no idea where the samples are. So these are fun. It kind of gives you that faux wax seal look. These are some of their little gold and silver fashion gems. So these are the gold ones. And then here are the silver. Embossing folders that we just got back in. Dimensional diamonds. Beveled diamonds. Scenic poinsettias. And flurry of snowflakes. 
And these are those 3D ones, so it gives you a super, super deep image. This is from their newest line. These are the postage edge. So this one here is rectangles. We'd had this one in, so if it looks familiar, that was a reorder. These are brand new ones. These are part of their wax seal collection as well, too. And not that you have to use them with the wax seals. It's just a nice little thin branch of flowers, so the wax seal looks really pretty, just kind of in the middle of them to anchor them. But here you can see they did one without it, and that looks really cute with the washi tape, too. So this one here, I like this one a lot. That one's fun with the little flowers there. And then here's the this one. And there's the back, so you can kind of see what you're getting. This one here is called um, Sealed Bouquet. And this one is called Sealed Blooms. And I used the bouquet one. If you remember some of those examples that I did, this was the set that I used. This is a new one from Simon Hurley. And it is kind of like the Tim Holtz one I just showed you, kind of. So you cut it one way. And then you can cut it again and then just turn it and layer it. So cut it twice, flip, flip one, and layer them together, and it creates a fun little plaid background. So you can do just stripes, or you can do a plaid with that one. This one is called Sealed Wildflowers. See those there? This is a reorder. This is that Tweet Cardinal. I've used it on so many card samples. This one is a really good one. This one here is called Gnome Tree. That is a reorder. I think these guys would be really cute. Um, and, um, well, really, I guess I almost said Halloween, and you could totally do it for Halloween, but I think it would be really cute on a Valentine's Day card, too. Um, you know, put, like, maybe a little heart up here. You know, when you do this across, which you don't even have to do that across them, um, but you could do, like, little hearts in there, too just to kind of look more Valentine's Day-ish. So if you've got that one, um, then you could do different seasons for it as well. And then this one here has been our probably our biggest selling flower dye all year long, Be Bold Blooms, super versatile one. And I know if you've um, seen some of the cards that I've posted that my friend Bette Manning has done. I know she's on a lot of the different sites on Facebook and the different groups. She uses this one a lot. Um, let's see here, some stencils. So this is layered geometric diamond stencils. And then we got in the matching foil plate for that one. The Let It Snow Snowman. Let It Snowman. There we go. Let It Snowman. A2 card front. I'll flip it over so you can see everything you get in that one. This is a good one. So definitely, again, a good one for winter. We also got back in stock the parcel and post mailbox. Over there. So here's everything you're going to get in that one. And then this one here, I know it looks like it's another little mailbox. It's not. This one is kind of that little winter greenery add-on that you can have coming out at the top of your mailbox. This here, these are the little crease tools. Got those back in stock. The little bone folder. They call it a crease tool, but it's a bone folder. And then their die cut foam glitter is amazing. I don't know what they've done different with this stuff, but it does such a good job. It cuts amazing. This one, and it keeps its shape. I mean, the shape pops back up so well. So this one here is the silver and gold. This one here is red and green. And then we got in stock. We have not had this one before. Um, it's peony pink. So you've got two different pinks in this set. And then last but not least, oh, we actually got three more things here. We got in another one of the sealed wax seal kits. And now last but not least. So if you're doing glimmer stuff, um, and you're doing kind of those bigger plates, you know, the, the, the um, where it's like an all, um, all of a square, all of a circle, anything like that. I, I really think if you're doing one of those solid plates, you almost need to use the Glimmer Specialty Card Stock. It 
works so much better and you get better coverage. If I'm doing something smaller, a lot of times I don't use this all the time, but if I'm doing one of those background kind of dyes, I definitely use the specialty cardstock. And I, it's just, it has a different feel to it. It's a little bit slicker. It's gotta be something with the material that's in it. Maybe it's not all regular like paper as we think of paper, but this is a must have if you're doing glimmering. And then I had someone um, ask about this and I had not seen it on the site. It, it was actually kind of hard to find. It was kind of hidden. They just redid their site and it didn't even come up when I did um, a, a couple different searches that I thought would have came up for glimmer and it wasn't in with the glimmer stuff. This is their clear film sheets, specially designed for the glimmer machine. So it can handle the heat. So this basically, it's going to give you some really cool see-through effects. So it is acetate, for better, for lack of a better word, that can go through your glimmer machine. And it's got a little protective thing on there that I'm probably not supposed to peel off now, I bet, because it doesn't want to come off. Like I actually have to peel there. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It's just got static clean. So it's really thick acetate is what it feels like but this is designed for the glimmer machine it's going to stand up to the heat and it's going to take the foiling as well too so becky i if you're watching or you watch this on replay because i know you do watch my videos thank you so much um i have one of these held for you and i think your friend diane wanted one of these so i've got those in stock now for you girls so all right, everybody. Woo. All right, so we did Spellbinders, and we did two reorders, um, all kinds of great stuff. We still have our kind of after Christmas sale going on. Um, Leslie reposted a lot of those pictures just a day or so ago. All kinds of fun stuff here on clearance after Christmas. So, okay. I think, I think that's all that I got for you guys today. So, Thanks so much for popping in and tuning in and checking out some fun stuff. Um, I'm looking at what we got on the tables here. We still got the new Lawn Fawn back here. We have actually restocked one of those as well, too. Oh, Glimmer White Cardstock. You got it. I will get that pulled, too, Monica. So I think we are back in stock on all the new Lawn Fawn for their Valentine's release because we did sell out of just one of them. But it's back in stock now, too. So we've got that if you haven't checked that out online or whenever you're in the store. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, so I did a couple, uh, since I was working from home yesterday with this baby, um, you may have seen a couple different Facebook events come up. So if you are local-ish, I would love to have you in here on Wednesdays. We're going to call it our PhD day. So come and work with me on Wednesdays and work on your PhD, which is projects half done. So bring in your stuff you just have not gotten done at home or, you know, things you just started working on or start working on stuff here. I don't care what I thought. It was just kind of a fun name. So come in here, just hang out, um, you know, meet up with a friend, meet new friends. So hopefully, and I know that the first few weeks it'll be a little slower, but hopefully we can kind of get up the snowball and have a great group of crafters in here on women, just a little bit of camaraderie. I think that would be fun. So um, I did post that, and then I posted Dolly's class as well too. And then don't forget, um, if you're signing up for the February retreat, um, get your forms in, get your payment in. You can sign up online as well. And then we also have a weekend crop here at the store in January as well, too, that I've already got people signing up for there. So that's awesome, awesome. So, And that is going to be a Friday night crop and a Saturday night crop. But you can sign up for either day, both days, whatever you want to do. So, all right, everybody. Well, I am Hannah from the Doodle Bug. Until next time, hopefully you are enjoying this week between Christmas and New Year's. Personally, for me, it's the week that I never know what day it is. Um, you know, I just, I don't know. You just lose track of time, I think. Um, I know Leslie messaged me. She was like, um, is it payday? I'm like, oh, maybe. I don't even know. Yep, I think so. Feels like Tuesday, but it's Thursday. So, yeah, it, it, it is. So, um, I got that done. No, check. Got her paid. She deserves it. So, anyway, um, crazy, crazy week, I think, in between. But uh, maybe you guys don't feel that way, but I definitely do. So, until next time, though, I'm just rambling. I will let you guys go. If I don't see you before the new year, have a happy and very blessed new year. Um, and here is to a great 2023. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye.